Don't spoil the news, but it is reported that tonight South Africa will be one of only six places in the world from where moon gazers will be able to see one of the rarest astronomical events in years. Now, how significant will this sighting be while well, our weather doctor is here? Mr. Philip Hawkins, what's going on tonight? What is a lunar eclipse? Well, a lunar eclipse is the same as a solar eclipse where the moon moves in front of the Earth and it creates a shadow over the Earth. Only this time it's the reverse way around. So the Earth, in fact, moves in front of the sun and it creates a shadow over the moon. Mm. And uh, what happens then is that you can't see the moon because the only reason we can see the moon is uh, due to the reflection of the sun's uh, rays off the moon. So uh, what we're going to see tonight is basically a shadow over the moon, but it's not an entire uh, full lunar eclipse. What's going to happen is it's a blood moon as well, mm -hmm. which uh, means it's the first full moon of September. Um, well, down in the southern hemisphere, we're going to see uh, quite a red moon as well. Mm -hmm. And when this happens, uh, it's going to move into the shadow of the Earth. It's going to be very red, and uh, the top half of the moon should uh, be blocked out from the sun. Very yeah. interesting. Where can people see this, Philip? Can they just come outside? At what time can they go and watch this uh, phenomenon? Well, over <laughs> here, unfortunately, it is early, early in the morning. Uh, it starts at, I think, about uh, half past two to quarter to three. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's due to end, uh, and you won't be able to see it anymore from about uh, quarter to six onwards. Mm -hmm. But why is it so special in, 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 in the weather calendar, uh, Philip, if I can say that? Well, not only does this happen very, very rarely, um, but... A full moon and a lunar eclipse is uh, quite a rare thing already. What we have had already, though, is that there's uh, a cycle of four uh, lunar eclipses that have happened. This, of course, being the full moon and the supermoon, uh, where the moon is actually at its closest to the Earth. So mm -hmm. it's traveling around the Earth, of course, all the time. And uh, now is when it's at its closest. And I think the, the, full, the uh, lunar eclipse is actually due to happen about 53 minutes after, due to start 53 minutes after the absolute closest points of the moon to the Earth. So it's going to look a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll be quite an impressive spectacle. And I want to ask, uh, Philip, is it one of those where we have to wear the specialized glasses in order to view it? No, no, this is like a bonus, uh, bonus eclipse. Okay, that's, so you uh, can view it with the naked eye? With the naked eye, you okay. can uh, view this. You don't have to do anything. It's like looking at the moon. Uh, it's not going to harm your eyes uh, too much. So everybody <laughs> get outside at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning and have a look. At 2 a.m., I think I'll be awake, uh, Philip, only because you're asking me to do that. All right, Philip, go ahead and give us the rest of the weather. But tell us a bit, um, how is the weather looking uh, throughout this? Uh, is it spring or summer now? It's spring now. It's yeah. well into spring now. We're getting towards summer. But it's why actually... is it so rainy, Philip? Because it's spring. It's, uh, <laughs> this is when new life happens. So we've got to get uh, the water in there, and that's what's making everything green. It's going to be a great one, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see what's going on in your weather.